On today's episode, we are headed down to Kia Mizudera. We are joined by our friends from Melbourne, Davina and Ed. But before that, let's check out this kimono rental place. Um, at the moment, Davina and Helmi, they're selecting their kimonos before we head up to the temple. Which one should I choose? I think anything. The pink one, red one, something kind of like bright would be nice. Yeah. Probably the lighter one, right? The lighter, like a white and kind of pink. This is pretty good. Yeah, that, that one looks good. The one on the right there. Yeah, the one you're holding. Yep, right there. Yep. So at the moment, we're stopping by Okamoto, uh, where we're gonna rent some kimono. Uh, well, Helmi and Davina are. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna just be doing the videos. That's it. So this is sort of uh, the main shop here, like a quarter up towards the, the temple. But um, this is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how they look like in a, in a second here. <laughs> it's easier to. So this is the famous lookout area where you can see all the views from up here, from the temple here. Unfortunately, they're doing a lot of renovation as you can see right behind me. Not the best time to come here, right? Fortunately, and this is my first time too, so it kind of sucks. But, oh well, we'll make the best out of it, right? This main hall serves as a worshipping ground and uniquely sits on a steep cliff made out of wooden planks and pillar without the use of a single nail in its development. That is amazing. Unfortunately though, it is under renovation until 2020. Now the name Kiyomizu itself was taken from a nearby waterfall within the precinct. Kiyomizu meaning clear or pure water. So that's what it would look like if it wasn't under construction or renovation. Damn! So someone just randomly asked Helmi to take a picture with her. <laughs> Like <laughs> 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 so basically you're supposed to stand here, right? And then walk all the way to the other side, blindfolded, like all these people are. I'll just dodge them very quickly to the other end. So apparently if you manage to hit the rock on the other end, that means that, well, I guess if you're single, you're going to find your Prince Charming, or vice versa, something like that. So once you finish your tour up at Yumi Zudera Temple, you come down here, this kind of particular um, path, just like opposite um, the steps of uh, the temple. And of course, on the, your left, on your right, you'll be presented with shops, uh, food stalls, 
and all that kind of stuff, which is like very common, I guess, in every kind of temple and shrine here in Japan, especially, I guess, the, the more um, popular one, pretty much. So it's like they're asking you before you go, please support the local businesses, which I will support it in terms of eating their food, because that's what I do best. It just seems that my trip here in Japan becomes just 100% eating. Hmm. Thank you. Once again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that bell button, and I'll see you guys next week. And here's a little clip of Davina.